So you're still unsure about buying a 2019 MacBook Pro, whether it's a high-end 15-inch one with a Core i9 or the baseline 13-inch like I have right here, and I assume a lot of you are eyeing this one, especially if you're students, but you're in luck because in this video, I have five reasons why I think you should pick one of these up right now. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the algorithm likes that and will help get my videos to more people. So without further ado, let's get into the five reasons why I think you should cop a 2019 MacBook Pro, particularly the 13-inch baseline one like I have right here. The first reason you should pick up a 2019 MacBook Pro right now is because of all the deals and promotions happening. Apple's currently offering the baseline 13-inch Pro for $100 off. You can also get Apple Care Plus for 20% off, and believe me, that's a great thing to have because I don't know if you watched my video where I broke my iPhone. Thank God I had Apple Care because that was my fault, and I was, you know, not paying $600 to replace my entire device. And Apple devices, you know, although they have longevity, sometimes they do fail. And if it's out of warranty, you know, you're going to be out of luck. You also get a free pair of Beats of your choice. I chose the Studio 3 wireless headphones, and I actually got it in this exact color, and they're pretty dope. B&H is also having similar pricing with the baseline. You can get it for $11.99. That's the same as the education pricing Apple is offering. And there's also other, you know, deals on the higher end MacBook Pros. Obviously, if you buy a more expensive one with a better configuration. So for example, you can get the higher end 2.4 gigahertz uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch with four Thunderbolt 3 ports for $200 off and the baseline 15 inch for $300 off. So that is definitely something to consider. The second reason you should buy the 2019 MacBook Pro right now is because the touch bar has been brought to the baseline 13 inch models. And these are the most popular, especially for students. So you also get touch ID with that. And it's a cool thing, you know, is it groundbreaking? No, but you get like, you know, the ability to switch tabs and there's certain buttons you can get, you know, it's pretty convenient in some cases. I like that you can use the sliders to adjust volume and brightness. And you also get, you know, the ability to look at all the emojis. So once again, it is kind of a gimmick still, you know, it's not like this groundbreaking feature, but it is definitely nice to have and is fun to interact with. The third reason you should cop a 2019 MacBook Pro is because macOS is awesome, especially when you have an iPad or an iPhone to work with it. Continuity is a beautiful thing. AirDrop is something I use on the daily when I'm doing my work, you know, transferring photos and other files between my iPhone, my iPad, and my Mac. Um, you have iMessage built in, which is really, really great. I love being able to reply to my conversations with my MacBook, with my keyboard, and the touch bar too with the emojis is kind of cool. And you know, there are other features with Mac that are great too. The file system is really Really, really nice to use the trash is also severely underrated it's great to just you know drag and drop whatever you want into there delete and whatever that is is gone applications other files videos you name it and you know overall the best of iPhone and iPad can be found in Mac OS I mean all three operating systems iPad OS iOS and Mac OS are pretty well related they work perfectly together and there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve I mean if you're switching from Windows or you're switching from having no laptop at all but it's definitely worth learning and once you do you'll feel really really productive using this option operating system. The fourth reason you should pick up a 2019 MacBook Pro is because they are designed very, very well. And I know some of you are going to say like, well, what about the keyboard? And you do have a point. You know, the previous generation ones had kind of messed up keys and they were prone to getting dust underneath them and having to be replaced. Thankfully, Apple has a program if this is ever an issue. And apparently the newest generation keys are different. They have some kind of different switch going on, which will prevent dust from getting underneath them. But even if that happens, which is going to be, you know, even less of a chance now with this iteration, you still have the ability to go to the Apple Store and get serviced. I wouldn't worry too much how this affects, you know, some people, not all people. But in regard to the design, I mean, this thing is built really, really well. I love the space gray color. I really highly recommend you get it. Um, the touch bar, once again, is a really nice addition. The speakers are loud and crystal clear. The keyboard, in my opinion, although it's flat and the travel is a little bit shallow, it's clicky, it's tactile and responsive. The trackpad is ginormous and really great for scrolling and doing gestures with. The screen, too, is phenomenal. Great for creative work, great for really anything you're doing. It's bright and very sharp. The webcam is okay, you know. I don't really know what you expect from a webcam i believe it's 720p so it's not like 40p with the previous gen you know macbook 12 inch the 15 inch and especially the 13 inch in this case are slim and light and they'll fit right into a backpack or a bag and yeah overall i really do enjoy the footprint especially of the 13 inch the build quality is exceptional especially with the materials and last of all the hinge is the sturdiest you're ever going to use on a laptop 
The fifth and final reason you should buy the 2019 MacBook Pro, particularly the baseline 13 inch models, is because they're powerful. Um, every single MacBook Pro has at least a quad core processor in it, um, including the baseline that I have here, which has a 1.4 gigahertz quad core i5. It also has eight gigabytes of RAM and Intel Iris Plus graphics 645. I've edited 4K video on here, exported it even, that was fine. I've played Minecraft at higher settings. I've typed up documents, done photo editing, everything you can name I've done with this laptop. And it's been a really great experience. No slowdowns, no nothing. The SSD storage in here is lightning fast and will last you forever. And I speak from experience because I actually am using a 2014 MacBook Pro to record the audio here. I have my mic plugged into it and the SSD in there is still phenomenal. This thing will last you for years. Macs are like that and they don't depreciate in value as fast as, you know, Windows laptops. So yeah, they're all very powerful. Even the baseline 13 inch laptops and you're not gonna have any issues with whatever you throw at it. And that of our options up, I hope this video helped you out once again, I really appreciate it. If you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.